applications of Soundwave uh, in SBM, you need to know the few applications. One of it is uh, we use this uh, sound wave to measure length or depth of water. Okay, depth of water actually is the length. Eh? Length of the this uh, the the sea bottoms from the uh, surface of the water. So this is done by using this uh, ultrasonic wave. Let's say we have a ship here. Okay, so this ship it it produces a pulse. Eh? It produces a pulse ultrasonic uh, sound wave and then this sound is reflected back okay you go down and reflect it back and then it's uh, detected by the sensor the detector uh, so this uh, cathode ray oscilloscope it shows the pulse uh, it shows the pulse initially when it's uh, emit the pulse uh, okay it emit the pulse the sensor also detect eh? when it emit the pulse. The sensor detect the pulse, and when the pulse reflected back, then the sensor detect the pulse again. And you can see that the first pulse with higher amplitude, and the second pulse with uh, lower amplitude. That is because when the pulse travels down and reflected back, it will lose some energy. Okay, it lose some energy, and therefore the amplitudes will decrease. Eh? Uh, the question say a pulse is transmitted from a boat into the water to measure the depth of the water and the figure above shows a trace displaced on the screens of a cathode ray oscilloscope. The time base of the oscilloscope is set to 50 milliseconds per cm. Time base uh, is the setting. Okay, it's a setting for the scale, the horizontal scale. Okay. What is the unit for the horizontal scale? That's called the time base. Eh? So the time base actually is the setting, eh? uh, is the scale for uh, the horizontal unit. Eh? Uh, one unit is equal to how many seconds? So 50 milliseconds per cm means that one cm is equal to 50 milliseconds. So this is one cm eh? is equal to 50 milliseconds. Time base actually is the scale, the horizontal scale of the cathode ray oscilloscope. Eh? The time base is 50 milliseconds and the distance eh, is 6 cm, right? Uh, so therefore the time is equal to 6 cm multiplied by 50 milliseconds per cm, okay? And therefore is 300 milliseconds 300 milliseconds so that's the time and the speed is uh, 1200 meter per second uh, 300 milliseconds is equal to 0 0.3 seconds uh, 0 0.3 seconds okay so the distance travels is equals to speed multiplied by time uh. so therefore uh, 1200 Multiply by 0 0.3. So the answer is 360, 360, 360 meter. But this is the distance travel and not the depth. Okay. Okay. Let me draw here. So the pulse travel down and go back. Okay. So the distance travel is two times of the depth. This is a depth. This is a depth. But the distance travels uh, is it go down and come back. So the depth, the depth of the water is equal to 360 uh, divided by 2, which is 160 meter. 160, uh, sorry, 360 divided by 2, uh, 180, 180 meter. You can also use the formula uh, depth equals to half uh, times V times T, half VT, okay, or half VT, okay, you can also use half VT, if you use half VT, then you don't need to divide it by 2, okay, so if you use uh, distance equals to speeds multiplied by time, uh, then uh, after you get the answer, then you need to divide it by 2, uh, because the distance is 2 times of the depth, but if you use this formula, depth equals to half times V times T, then no need. So explain how sonar is used to measure the depth of the sea. Uh, the points is uh, first in the sonar system, the broadcasting equipment emits ultrasonic pulses. 
and then uh, the pulses are reflected back from the base of the C or object in the C and create an echo. Uh, the echo is traced by a hydrophone. Hydrophone is a, is a sensor that can sense the sound. Uh, you can either use a hydrophone or detector. Traced by the detector or hydrophone. And then uh, the time intervals uh, between the transmittings of the pulse is recorded and then uh, it's calculated by this formula d equals to half vt and uh, this is a depth huh? d is a depth not the distance d equals to half vt uh, so these are the points that you need to remember because uh, usually this this will come out in essay questions huh? essay questions so if these questions come out then uh, these are the points that you need to give these integrations of kidney stone uh, due to certain reasons, uh, sometimes there are stones grow in the kidneys and if the stones are too big, then uh, it will block the ureter, okay? And then uh, it cannot come out, so it's very painful. Doctors, they will use ultrasounds to break this stone, to break it into small, smaller pieces. Uh, that is because the, the frequency of the, this ultrasound uh, Okay, it's equal. They, they will make it equal or very close to the frequency of the natural frequency of the stone. Eh? And then the uh, resonance occurs. Then uh, it will break the stone. Eh? So the stones are broken into smaller pieces. Eh? When it's uh, smaller pieces, then it can come out with the urine. But it's still painful. Okay, when they come out, it's still painful. Eh? Uh, ultrasound scanning. I think you know this, right? Okay. Uh, usually, it's for this uh, pregnancy checkup. Uh, routine checkups, doctors, they will use ultrasounds to scan the conditions of the baby, how big it is, uh, the heartbeat, and uh, to see whether is uh, the structure is normal or not, okay? So that's ultrasound scanning. Eh? Uh, not necessary, it must be just uh, for scanning of baby. Actually, you can use to scan anything inside the body, but usually, okay, for this uh, pregnancy routine checkup, they use ultrasound.